Mistral released Codistral version 2, that is 25.01 version, which has 256,000 context length and it's topping the benchmark as per this report. It supports 80 programming languages, optimized for low latency, high frequency use cases, and supports fill in the middle, that is filling the code or automatic code corrections. The latest version used more efficient architecture and improved tokenizer than the original, and it generates two times faster. It is available today completely for free in VS Code using continue.dev. We'll also build an application like this where you enter your markdown text on the left hand side and automatically you can preview on the right hand side. In the LMSYS arena, it's ranking number three for Copilot TOS. It's close to Claude Sauna 3.5 and DeepSeek version 2.5. That is really nice. Even when considering Python, Java or JavaScript, this is much better than the previous code still, DeepSeek Chat API, DeepSeek Coder V2, and DeepSeek Coder 33B Instruct. That is brilliant. Codistral code completion tool, completely for free without any limits. You can get the API key from console.mistral.ai and use these endpoints to start coding. And I'm going to show you how you can integrate this with continue.dev in your VS Code application. And it's going to create application super fast. Now this is directly integrated in VS Code. I can even apply these changes. I can request for modification and again apply those changes and accept those changes. That is brilliant. I'm going to show you and also we are going to test this for its coding ability. Let's get started. We are going to use its API to test this application. To install, I'm going to use Prezen AI chat and then click enter. Then export your OpenAI API base. That is the code Distral endpoint. Next, export your OpenAI API key. That is your Mistral API key. Paste it here and then click enter. Now you can just type Praise AI chat to open the chat interface. And here is the chat interface. And in the model name, I'm providing OpenAI slash code Distral latest and confirming. Now I can test. What is your model name? My name is not explicitly defined. So it's not giving its name, but still we know we are using code Distral latest. First, Python hard challenge. Find domain name from DNS pointer. Copying the instruction and asking it here. And the generation is super fast. Got the code here, just copying it and testing it here. That is a pass. Next, Python very hard challenge. Concrete seats. Just copying the instruction and pasting it here. Now I've got the code here. Copying it and testing it here. That is a pass. Next, Python expert level challenge. Josephus permutation. Just copying the instruction and asking it here. Now copying the code and testing it here. That is a pass, that's really good. Next, JavaScript expert level challenge, the fiscal code, copying the whole instruction and just saying in JavaScript. Here's the expected output, so just copying the expected output. Expected output like this, and pasting that and clicking enter. Now it's generating the code, that is super fast, copying it and testing it here. That is a pass. Let's try C sharp expert level, English to pig Latin translator, copying the instruction, Pasting it here, right in C sharp. And here's the expected output, just copying it and just saying expected output in this format and clicking enter. Now it's generating me the code, copying and testing it here. That is a fail. Let me copy the error message and paste it here. Now it's giving me the fix, copying the code and testing it here. Still, that is a fail. So I'll give this a fail. But overall, I can see it's really powerful programming model capable of handling various programming languages. And it's super fast in code completion. Next, we are going to see how you can use the code still model in VS Code. Just download VS Code, one of the popular code editor. Once after you download, go to extensions, there type continue, click that, and install the continue extension. Once after you install, you can see the continue here on the left hand side, just click on that. There at the top, you can see there's a settings, click on that. There you can add your API key, which will look like this. And here you can also increase your context length because this supports a larger context length as well. So after providing the API key, just click save. Then here you can mention, create a markdown previewer app in HTML, CSS and JavaScript, allowing users to write markdown text and instantly preview the formatted result in another. So just clicking enter. Now it's generating the code, as you can see. 
it's super fast. So I had to create index.html, just applying those, then in script.js, applying the JavaScript, then in CSS, applying the CSS styles. It would have been good if it automatically created those files, but now let's test this application. Open index.html, and here is the application. I'm not able to automatically preview it. Let me try to fix that. Automatic preview is not working. Now it's making those changes, applying those changes, have some error log in this console, just copying it and asking you to fix it here. Now it's making some modification, applying those changes. Now it's making those modifications. Option command Y to accept the changes. Seems like I need to download this file and save that in the local folder. So just opening and downloading this file and adding it here. And finally, here's the markdown. So I'm gonna change it here and I can see clearly the changes happening on the right hand side. That is brilliant. Welcome to Mervin Prison. And I can clearly see all the changes happening on the right hand side. That is really cool. Just within a few minutes, I was able to create this application and imagine how much more you can create. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Overall, I'm impressed with this coding ability considering the speed of its performance. So do try it out. Also, it's completely free. Considering you already like this coding assistant, I also created another video which is about another coding assistant called Ada, which I'll put the link in here and I highly recommend for you to watch and I will see you there.